pacing the stage at a rally for Roy Moore in Alabama on Monday evening, punctuating his points with darting gestures and sweeping excoriations of the media, Breitbart's Stephen K. Bannon presented to the audience the components of Trump's first-year successes. This, he dubbed the Trump miracle an unsettle pitch to the heavily evangelical voters of the Bible Belt state. There were several categories in which Trump's miraculous success, Bannon literally called it a true miracle, had been manifested. It comes in three things, our sovereignty, our economy, and our national security, he said. Exactly what he promised on the campaign trail. Bannon then detailed a point of evidence or two for each of those categories. At the risk of being blasphemous, let's assess the claims. Bannon Look what President Trump's delivered. On our sovereignty, what is it? 46 years, the lowest illegal alien crossings across the southern border? He stopped mass illegal immigration. The no point one beneficiary of that is the Hispanic and black working class because they don't have to compete with illegal alien labor. That point is correct. Data released this month by the Department of Homeland Security showed that the number of apprehensions at the border was lower than at any point since 1971. It's worth noting, though, that the number of apprehensions in both 2011 and 2015 were similarly under 360,000. The stark decline in apprehensions began under President George W. Bush. It's also worth noting that a report released in 2016 found that immigrants mostly don't take jobs from American workers, black, Hispanic, or otherwise. Where jobs were more likely to be lost was in populations of previous generations of immigrants. That discussion, though, led Bannon to his next point of pride. Bannon, look what economic nationalism has done, 3.3% growth already. The New York Fed says the fourth quarter's going to have 3.9 growth. It's the highest projection they've ever had with this modeling. We've got the lowest unemployment in 17 years. The lowest black unemployment in 17 years. Hispanic unemployment is 4.7%, I don't think it's ever been that low. 40,000 manufacturing jobs created in November. 2 million jobs overall. American jobs for American workers. It's true that GDP growth in the third quarter was 3.3%. It's also true that the Federal Reserve Bank of New York's no-cast estimates that fourth quarter growth will be at 3.9% though the Fed only started doing this modeling last year. The broader question, as with that drop in border apprehensions, is how much of the change is a function of a miracle working Trump and how much that credit might be shared. Take unemployment The unemployment rate among Hispanics is as low as it's ever been, that's true. But that didn't suddenly happen in 2017 after being at record highs. Trump largely inherited employment trends that began in 2010, well before he was president. While Americans increasingly credit Trump with the positive effects of the economy, a November poll from Quinnipiac University found that most still think Barack Obama is the responsible party. Bannon's jobs numbers, meanwhile, are a bit inflated.